Happy Information Wednesday, Shalise McQueen here. For my teaser video, I wanna go through some steps to make sure that you're being smart when it comes to shopping for your insurance and also when it comes to using your insurance. It's no secret that we are in a world of hurt when it comes to inflation and I keep preaching about all of the changes that are happening in the insurance industry when it comes to underwriting guidelines and just general premium issues that we're seeing across the board. So hopefully these, these tips and tricks will help you be smarter when it comes to both shopping and using your insurance. You know, in terms of being smart when it comes to shopping, let's first break down what actually makes up premiums in terms of your home and auto policy. On the home front, it's pretty easy. Typically, it's just your dwelling, your reconstruction costs that we're insuring the property for, your personal liability, and your deductible. There's obviously other optional endorsements you can take advantage of, which usually have a premium associated with them. But otherwise, a general homeowners or condos policy is pretty inclusive when it comes to other things. Now, on the auto side, everything under the sun has a premium. That's your bodily injury, property damage, under underinsured, and of course, any endorsements such as collision, comp, rental car, you name it. Everything has a premium. And so it's really important, especially in this environment, to pay attention to what you're actually paying for and what coverages that you're receiving. On both the home and auto side, when it comes to pricing and premiums, deductibles have such a heavy weight, more than ever before. Deductibles always played an option in terms of what things cost, but now deductibles are definitely having a much higher premium associated with them, and so it's important to take advantage of having higher deductibles. I've talked about those advantages in the past with previous videos, so do yourself a favor and refresh yourself with those if need be. But really when it comes to auto especially, because we're seeing major increases across the board and this is across the entire industry of insurance, not just company Pacific, you wanna pay attention to having the highest deductibles you can. Typically a thousand for buck comp and collision is appropriate. Anything above that, obviously you're really limiting your ability to use your insurance. Plus if you have a lien holder for your auto, more than likely they do not allow a higher deductible than a thousand anyways. But do yourself a favor and definitely take consideration having higher deductibles. So now let's jump over and talk about being smart about using your insurance, which really is all about claims. So claims, of course, impacts everything in terms of your insurability and, of course, your ability to stay insured, become insured, and then not be dropped or not renewed. And more than ever, claims, your history of claims and your future ability of, of filing claims definitely is being impacted. Underwriters have changed their guidelines across the board, what they find acceptable in terms of number of claims and also the amount of claims. And so it's very important to be sure to understand the consequence involving filing a claim. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use your insurance because you have insurance for a reason. I'm just telling you to be smart about it. And one of the ways to be smart is, of course, understanding what your coverage limits really are, what is actually covered, and of course, your deductible associated with said coverage. Continuing the conversation of claims, once you know your coverage, your deductible, and say you still want to proceed with the claim, make sure you never file a claim until you have all your facts, your documentation, your photos, whatever it may be that goes along with that claim. That's going to help your ability of A, streamlining the claims process, and two, having a better success for having that claim approved. The last thing you want to do is leave your claim up to a third person that has no interest in whether you get approved or denied for that claim. And what people don't realize is, is it's so important to make sure that you're gonna actually have a claim that's successful in being approved. Because if you still file a claim, and even though they pay zero out for it, it still shows up as a claim on your record. And as a reminder, claims technically surcharge for three years and stay as a chargeable offense for five years. So that claim's gonna impact you for five whole years from the day that you file until the day that it falls off. So keep that in mind. To sum up our conversation, whether you're shopping for new insurance or you're using your insurance, you just wanna be smart about it. I don't expect you guys to know everything about insurance. That's not your job. That's why you have an insurance expert on your side, at least hopefully. Um, obviously that depends on who, who, what insurance company you have and if you have an agent in place or not. So again, you always get what you pay for. So never shop when it comes to just price. It's so important more than ever that you know your coverage options and you're not being cheap for yourself because there's way too many risk and liabilities out there to take advantage. As always, I'm here to be a resource for you. You can give me a call at 602-525-5665 or email me at cmcqueen at farmersagent.com. Remember to ask yourself, are you protected? We'll see you next week. See you next week.